QNT has now managed to break above a key area of resistance above the $78, flipping it back into support. And on today's video, I will be giving you my breakout target areas, give you significant key areas of support that you need to continue holding in the next coming hours, and above all, discuss my long-term price prediction analysis, giving you reasons why QNT can easily give us more than a 10x in this bull market and starting the video here on the four hour chart you can see that we have now managed to break above the key area of resistance above the 78 dollars flipping it back into support and there are high chances that as long as we continue holding above this key area of support qnt is going to give us another leg to the upside give us a break above the $80, having the $90 as my next target area. We also need to have in mind that here on the 4-hour chart, we have this ascending trend line, which we also need to continue holding above. So in case of any sudden pullbacks, in case we break to the lower side of this descending trend line, there are high chances that that could be the first indication that we have now started to see a break of structure of this impulsive movement to the upper side and that could be the start of a bit of a corrective structure in the next coming hours and if that is the case then by pulling the fibs from the lows that we made on the 6th of september to the highs that we have at the moment above the 78 the 79.9 dollars we can get a minimum pullback target area between the fib level 0 0.5 and the fib level 0 0.618 which is the golden pocket which perfectly lies between the 67.9 dollars and the 65.1 dollars which is an area that we need to continue holding in case of any sudden pullbacks we also need to pay attention to the key area of support above the 69.1 dollars because that also needs to continue holding and if we get any sudden pullbacks losing that key area of support then this is the area that we need to fully maximize and if by any chance we get a break to the lower side of this area over here then i will be expecting to see a reset of the lows that we made on the 6th of september that is the worst case scenario Jumping to the daily chart to now give you my long-term price prediction analysis, you can see that after getting our bear market lows uh, below the $40, we started a very nice bounce to the upside where we picked in a five-wave structure in a move that gave us a high above the $229, completing the formation of these additive count one. Then we started a corrective structure in an additive count two, whose minimum target areas I have highlighted here on the charts using this red target area, an area that we have now fully maximized. And there are high chances that we now have a low in place for the second wave. And whatever is playing out at the moment is the start of an impulsive additive count three whose minimum target areas can be given by connecting the trend-based Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that additive count one, then dragging the fibs to the low of the second wave, giving me a minimum target area for that additive count three above the fib level 1.618, and that lies above the 352.9 dollars, and a bounce to that target area will easily give us a 5x to the upside then we can expect a bit of a short term pullback in a wave 4 then continue pushing even higher in an area to have count 5 taking us to new all time highs and possibly giving us more than a 10x to the upside so that is the price action that i'm expecting here on the qnt chart for the next coming hours and also days and let's be patient and see how that plays out and I will be keeping you up to date.